Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm coming to you to show you the almost finished book that I did. So I want to give you, I'm going to go in here and make it a little bit, um, antique-ish. Um, just want to push back the white in it. So this is a recap on um, when I started this journal. So when I started the journal, um, I used an old book. They're not signatures, my created signatures. They are the signatures that were already on the book itself. So what happened was I, like always, over embellished the book and it became chunky. And the spine was not enough for the book. So I had to take the book apart. And so what I did was I opened up the book. I cut here, I cut here. I measured the thickness of the interior of the book and I put a new a new spine. So this is a new spine in the middle. I got rid of the one here and I just added a bigger spine. Um, there's a lot of different videos out there that um, demonstrate how to do this. I didn't want to be one more, <laughs> so I'm just walking you through it. So that's what I did, and I covered it with um, wrapping paper. I found this wrapping paper, and it was so pretty, the colors. So what I did was I layered on top of each other. Um, one thing I noticed that when I decoupaged it, when it dried, it kind of cracked here. But... I don't mind that because again, I can do this. Let me get some more. And this is vintage photo and I can go in here and make it look like it's, you know, used, antiqued. So I, I, I really don't mind. I kind of really like that, that look. And um, I came in here, and if you can see, that's where I glued my spine to it. Um, I camouflaged some of the cracking in here too, and in the back. And then I pushed, I put a little bit of paint, and I pushed it back a little bit with gesso. And of course, this frame here, but I. I, I really do like this. I really a lot. And then um, I'll show you when we're done the inside. Then I took, which if I haven't uploaded, I will upload how I do these. Um, let me just refresh. If I did, if I didn't, I will show you. These are fasteners that I painted and these here are hooks for pictures and I'll show you those right now. I purchased them in Amazon because I couldn't find them in a regular store. Um, I'll come back on the next video and tell you the size of them. But this is how they come. And they actually are for pictures. But I needed something different to hold my tassel which we're about to create so let's do that here's a whole bunch of different fibers that i wanted to use minus the paper and let's move this to the side and i have this is called the bow if i can see mini bow dabra 
and you can find these at um walmart that's where i found mine so these are great because um you can layer your fat your fibers and whatever it is that you want to do and it's pretty neat um so i'm going to show you the process of it um this is what i'm going to use let me get my scissors over here and remove my dryer okay so what you do is this is going to be where you're going to tie everything so you put that in the middle and you take your spine of course if you want to uh, measure i'm not because i'll cut it down if i have to so it doesn't really matter to me but if you want to be precise you can measure your spine and do it so this is what you do this is how you start building go like this hope you can see that let me move it closer and you start just building across i'm serious I, I i need to make a big space here all right so move my scissors in case i need them in front of me and here you go you start just building what you want um this is not cut too straight although i want to cut this part off here i chose this one because the book cover is pretty pretty colorful so i think this will go now i do want to cut some of these i just kind of just randomly cut i i wasn't being careful at all and don't throw away these scraps because you can make clusters with them if you wanted to. If not, get rid of them. <laughs> so, I am going to definitely cut this one in half because I don't want it way, way too thick. Okay. So, ugh, these are not good scissors for fabric. These are my paper. Let me grab my fabric scissors. Okay. So here we go. We'll put that one there. Then this is pretty. See all the colors. We'll throw that in there. Um, this, I don't even know what you call this. Tool? Yeah, there we go. Ah, forgive me. So um, I didn't cut my tool either. It's straight. So, but I will do it now because I wanted to do it in front of you and how I do it. So this is my process. Toss that to the side. And this is extremely long, but you can always cut it off. So put that there. You know what? Let's do this. And this is nice because it's almost slinky. You can pull it. So we'll do two. And you can multi-layer it. Just want it to be different. I got some blue rick rack because that has the color. I got some different ribbon with white. Um, got some more ribbon. I'm gonna take this other piece, throw it in there too. I'm gonna make this mine super chunky. This too, a little bit of rough. And last but not least, I love this. So I'm going to throw that in there. Okay, so we'll leave the rest and maybe perhaps some seam binding. Okay, then you take this, kind of measure it. Now, you could either do it this way or you can fold it and then put it that way. Like, a, like if you was um, doing a tag. You can do it that way too. Oops. See? So I should have. Oh, I'm going to have to leave it because I already. <laughs> this is why it's nice just to um, explore. You know? When you explore, I don't do any prototypes at all. 
I like to just get on here and do it so you can see mistakes and how we can cover up mistakes. So now, where is my little thing? Let's pull it out. You know what it was? I didn't push it in, so mistake. And then you sort of have this. And on here, okay, then you could, let me see if I have anything that I can add to any of these. These are way too small. Anyway, you can um, definitely, I know I saw a little tiny charm in here. You can add charms to the, to the tassels. There's a little charm right here. There's one right here that you can add these type of charms to them. Um, you can add anything, basically. Anything to it. Um, you can add beads. Different type of beads. As long as it goes through the, the thread and um, I'll show you that. Um, I, th I saw in here a little... Um, I don't want to get up from my from the desk. I know that I just pushed, pulled a, a bulb. Here it is. Okay. Now you can use um, any type of closure if you like. Um, so I have two types of different closures. I mean, not closures. Fasteners, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, just bear with me. Oops. You know what? I saw something that I wanted in here that I forgot. So, let's demonstrate again. So, let's say you forgot thus something. So, this is how you can do it again. And because this broke, I'm going to double it. So, that means that perhaps... My yarn is old, so we're gonna do it again, and then we're gonna fold it this way, okay? So, what do you do? This is what you do. Let's say you forgot something like I did. Go in there, clip it off, take it out gently, shove it all in here again. You can go one by one, I'm being lazy. As you can see okay and this is what I meant to do you push it down I wanted these pearls in there okay so now because I pushed it down I'm gonna go this way now remember I said you can go like this I don't I just want to tie it so I'm gonna go in here and tie it and I pulled it again. Ugh. That's exactly what it is. I'm pulling it too tight. All right, so let's do it again. Practice makes perfect, right? Let's get that again. And that's the one that I want to use. I have other, but okay, let's not pull it. I mean, <laughs> tie it up too hard. Melly, I don't know my own strength. Okay, let's do it again. And this is why I love this to explore. So no protocols. Okay, so let's push it down a little bit. And let's tie it, except not tie it too hard. Okay, then you pull it off. And you finish tying it this way. There we go. All done. Okay, here we go. Let's bring that aside. And let's see what type of closure I want. Now, this is definitely 
a bit too long, but I do want to tie it up one more knot, right? And you could put a bead of glue in there if you wanted to. I'm not. I'm just going to open it this way, right? I'm going to try to tie one of each end again. But this is just my process. You do you. And I'm going to cut this here. Cut this one over here. Okay. And then we'll see. So now, let's see. Just wanted it to be raggy. So I think I'm going to put this angel through here let's turn this into a needle because I want to put it here I'm trying not to bring it up close to my face but I need my glasses okay there we go so that's gonna be there okay so what else do I want to do see my thinking process it's pretty long I don't know if I should use this closure or maybe perhaps this one I'm not sure or maybe the claws okay let me I'll be right back okay so I had to stop for a second and I'm back so I went in here and I did it over once again this time I used tool to tie it up okay um, I did get a closure and I think these are called clasps um, I, I don't know I'm not sure um, and I got a couple of beads and a few charms that I wanted to to use perhaps um, a needle okay and some floss okay so here we go I took this here and I cut it even, okay? And you're probably asking how I'm gonna get <laughs> this through here. I'll show you in a sec. Um, I'm not sure if I should put this one on here or this one. So I'm gonna try, because this is thick, I'm gonna try to do it this way. Okay, I can't. So. Do you know the ribbons that I wired? I usually pulled them out, the wired ribbons, and I keep the, I don't know if you can see that, the pieces of wire. What I use this for, use it for many things, but one of the things I use it for is to clamp any ribbon or anything that I need to bring through any charm, just like this. Did you see that? And I got it through. So I think I'm going to use this one for it since I have beads to match. Oh, bubbin. Okay, I am in frame. Okay. So I'm going to put that there. I kind of like it. Um, you know, see if it'll fall correctly. No, it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one of the strands here if I can find it I think this is why I don't do videos okay here we go I like better um, walkthroughs okay so I had put put it through both and it didn't land correctly so I took one strand out and the other now I'm gonna tie it now if you can see it falls properly okay so I'm not going to stop there because I need to decorate this somehow. So again, I'm going to use 
my wire from the ribbon, put it through. I'm using it as a needle. Um, there's beading wire uh, needles, but they're just too thin for this. So this is why I'm using this one. Now I want to, let me see what it looks like if I put these little tiny ones in. Or maybe I should use that one instead. Okay, let me let me just see what it looks like because I really want this bead here. Oh, I like that. That's better. Let me see which one looks better. Either this one or the other one. No, I kind of like the red. Uh, see, and you can pull it just out. See how easily it came off? I'm going to use the red one. I really like the red one. Come on. That's my jump ring. Stuck with my jump. Okay. Right there. See it? Okay, I think I like that. I wish it would have had pearls, but it does. I wish I would have grabbed some pearls. But that's okay because the book has these colors in them. Kind of bo looks boho, doesn't it? All right, so now I need to put the jump ring on here. Okay, so let's get one of my tools. If I can reach them, it's one and two. Okay, so here we go. Let's put this jump ring on here. And we need to close it up. There we go. Yeah, and throw it to the side. <laughs> All right, and again, we're not gonna do, we're gonna do it separately because like you saw when I put the charm in, it just didn't sit right. So we're gonna do this here. It's there, we'll tie it up. Now, I'm not sure if I want to tie it up or not, or leave it loose. Let me do one more. Perhaps I might just cut it as close as you can, but not too close because you don't want it to. Okay, there we go. Now. We have to take this and now I think I don't want to leave it loose so I'm going to probably I haven't made tassels in so long I tell you um, and these you need to be careful how you put them in because then you have to turn them just like I did right now. So I don't know if I should. Okay, now I'm improvising here. So let's try this because I have some of this left, some of the tool left. And I want to pull because I want to tie it 